forward. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Super Mario 3D World. Let's do a little break there after trying Champions Road for two hours. I got pretty far, but I haven't beaten it yet. What I'd like to do now for variety, rather than do the same thing the entirety of the stream, I would like to try to do the 30-star challenge, which is this house right here. Now, here's the thing. Last time around, I got very close to completing this challenge. I didn't beat it, but I got close, and then I ran out of time. So what we can now do is do some more uh, channel point predictions and see how long it takes for me to do this. So how about this? All right. Let's do this. Let's do... Can... Oops. Can Phil finish the challenge in six la or six tries I should say because it's not necessarily losing a life when you fail this but it is a try considered a try all right <clears throat> so it's six tries can I get through all 30 of these right now I've only seen 26 of them okay <coughs> <clears throat> so everyone is now going to wager their channel points one way or the other in the meantime I got a ways to go Let's go inside. Let's get this started. The Mystery House Marathon. That's what it's called. Marathon is right. So in six tries, can I do this? Let's find out. Wow. Well, that sucks. Fuck no! Well, that's it. I can't do it now. It's impossible. Well, that's one try. Fuck that up. I got hit by the fucking shell? Oh my god. Oh, uh, this is actually harder with Luigi. You want to know why? Because his jump is so floaty that I can't really aim where I want him to land, and I'm landing on the wrong things. It's completely screwing. I was doing this much easier with Mario last time I played. Remember, I need the cat suit. If I don't get the cat suit, I'm not going to be able to beat some of these stages coming up. What the fuck? Right. I overjumped. I don't have it, so I'm going to be screwed without the cat suit. You need the cat suit to do this. to get it now. I'm screwed. I can't do this. I did. Oh my god. It worked. I was able to get up there and do it. Got it. Oh, continue on. Now, I believe there's an extra one over here, and I want the extra one. By the way, I have no idea how many how many of the stars I have right now. <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> okay. Oh, 
Oh, that's easy. See, that part was easier with Luigi because you could jump higher to grab the wall. So some things are easier with Luigi and some are harder. Because floaty jumps make it slightly more easy in some cases. Floaty jump. It's like, it's it's definitely weird. All right, what do you mean I don't care? What are you talking about? Someone just said I don't care. I don't care about what? What are you talking about? Got it. Okay. Got it. the bullies bully those woolly bullies I'm not counting so I have no idea <laughs> this is the one you can just climb the wall remember you don't have to use those at all if you have the cat block the cat upgrade so okay nice Nice! Oh, well, I'm not gonna get this one. Nope! Nope! I didn't do it. That was attempt number two. At least I didn't die. But that was attempt number two. I don't know how many that was. I've beaten that one before. I've beaten that one before. So... If I'm going to do it within six lives, that means I have four attempts left, because two were down. I have four more to go. Yes, four more to go. What do you mean that's three? What do you mean that's three? I only died once. What? What? I guess I died. People are saying I died twice, so I only have two attempts left. I guess I have a terrible memory. I guess I died twice before telling me. All right. Okay. Oh my God. The only reason that happened is because Luigi's jump is fucked up. That's the only reason. Wow. I seriously can't believe that. This is ridiculous. His fucking jump is so silly. You can't even control the direction it goes half the time. It goes the wrong direction. You jump. Look at that! Oh my god! This is ridiculous. Well, I guess I didn't do it. His jump is so fucking annoying. Oh my god. No, I didn't do it. Fucking stupid. Wow. All right, can I complete it in five more tries? You guys wager, can I complete it in five more tries? Ugh. I had one more left, I don't even care. <laughs> I don't even care. Control the jump. Oh, the stupid floaty jump. Oh. Wow. 
Wow. I thought I touched the. I thought I touched it there. I guess not. I swear I touched it though. Oh, fuck. Oh, I still got it, even though I screwed up. There we go. You have to butt stomp that, and you can do it every time. If you butt stomp the spring. I see. What's funny about that is that's a mechanic you don't need up to this point in the game until right now. Penne Bandit has subscribed to the channel. Thank you, Penne Bandit, for the sub. I appreciate that. King Michael is wondering why do the characters get small when they get hit? Because it's a mechanic that goes all the way back to the original Super Mario Brothers, where you're supposed to basically have the power of the magic mushroom that made you giant, and therefore, if you get hit, you lose that power and you go back to your normal self, who's like tiny. Which is weird, because why is your normal self so tiny to begin with, right? I kind of agree. It's kind of weird that you're so you're like really short and tiny that's your normal self is like your your normal body proportions are when you're big not when you're small but originally it wasn't like that in the game originally it was more i guess you're supposed to be like a ginormous guy if you got the magic mushroom oh it is kind of weird it's very weird <laughs> i have to agree with you there because now he looks normal size okay that's correct. Mario and Luigi use drugs to enhance themselves. They use mush the power of mushrooms. Magical mushrooms. It's all correct, what you just said. You know, Nintendo doesn't want to admit that, but it's absolutely correct, what you just said. Okay. So, I... I not counting anymore. I wish that the stage did count. You know what I mean? Like, I wish the screen counted what one you were on so you would know about your progress. I have no idea what star I'm on right now. Okay. <clears throat> That's the easiest one. Got it. Haha, <laughs> got it. Without the cat, that's gotta be ridiculously difficult. To get two bullies off the end without the cat suit. But that's why they provide the cat suit. You're not supposed to lose it. Nice. I got it. I didn't even intend to get it, and I got it. Nice. Did I do it? I don't know if I did it or not. I hope I did. Okay. Got it. I'm not gonna do it. I got it! Oh my god, I got last second. So this is the this is the furthest I've gotten. That was 20 26. That's the furthest I've gotten. I've never done the last three. So these next three are completely new. I don't know what they are. I don't know what to expect. Okay. <laughs> Matthew Cheery says when I, I'm a male fan and I confessed a dream where a female fictional character became my girlfriend. Uh, why, why was your reaction a horrified look? <laughs> because that's the kind of stuff you keep to yourself. Like, you don't want to talk about that publicly. Listen, everyone out there has weird fantasies and things, especially in your dreams. You can't, you know what I mean? Like, your subconscious does weird stuff. You don't want to talk about that in public. Like, dude, 
I'm just saying. Especially in like of all, is this like, is this like a, a, a stream about that? Of course not. Okay. Anyway, let's continue. I got three more to go. Here we go. You gotta be kidding me! Oh my god, I went the wrong way. You had to go left, not right. You had to go left, not right. Wow. Ruby Atomic Cheese said, I can feel Mario's shame from here, from wearing that cat suit. <laughs> there you go. So I had three more to go, and immediately I did the beginner's trap, which is you can't go right. You have to go on the left one. If I go on the left one, I probably would have survived and done it. Damn. Alright, I have four more attempts, right? I have four more attempts to do it. Four more attempts to do it. You know I'm gonna screw up. I'm not gonna do this flawlessly every time. I'm gonna have mistakes that I'm gonna make on the way to 27, right? <laughs> wow. One of the major problems, again, is having to redo every stage and you just have the potential for a little mistake. Even if the stage is easy, potential for a tiny little mistake because of the time limit. And you can't go all from the beginning again. Ugh. I didn't do that. It's fine because I, I don't need the fireballs anyway. It's not a big deal. See, that's easy once you know how to do the, the, the butt style. Once you understand the butt stop mechanic on that, it's easy. Oh boy, I almost fell there. Almost fell off. Last second, too. Last possible second. Like this, I'm sure this is possible to do without the cat suit, but it's probably way harder, right? Probably way harder to scale up here. Alright. Hooey. What time is it? Okay, still got 40 minutes left on the stream, thank goodness. Hopefully we'll hit the tip's goal. Only $11 left to go, and hopefully I'll complete this. Without the cat suit, that's probably really hard to do. That one right there, you gotta jump to the top block, then butt stomp to get the height you need to get over. That's probably really tough. screwed up there because I couldn't hit the star. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Wow. Well, good thing I got the backup bell because that would have been bullshit. I almost feel that's why they give you the backup bell, just in case some bullshit like that happens. Booty bounce. Oh my god. 
die. Did it. Phew, close. Nice. Okay, here we go. I wish now I'm screwed. Oh my god, I did it anyway with no cat suit. That's crazy. Nice. It's 28. Two more to go. One more. I did it! Oh, I did it! Yeah! <laughs> nice. The last one was a gimme, and you get a stamp for it, too. Oh, I missed what the stamp was. I wasn't looking. Alright. So, let's get our Penny Points rewards out here, guys. Did I, would I do it in five more tries? I did. I did complete it in five more tries. Done. So, 25% of people who wager just won a ton of Penny Points. Congrats, guys. We have a few contributions that came in, and I need to verify them. First of all, Ripley Atomic cheered, and he said, Why does Mario sound like the nerd from Robot Chicken? <laughs> because it's the same voice actor. Now, I don't know. It's weird he has that really high-pitched voice. They always gave him a really high-pitched voice ever since Mario 64, where he started talking, right? That was the weirdest one. Remember Mario 64 title screen, where Mario has, like, he's a, he's a floating head, and he talks really weird. You could flick his, pull his nose and stuff. That was so odd. And they thought, oh, this is a cool tech demo. Like, tech demo? This is bizarre. You're messing with a poor tally man's face. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> anyway, Penny Bandit Cheers says, if you play undocked, you can use the touch screen to light up those blue switches. Oh, really? So I don't, I don't do that. Okay. And I received an $11.01 tip from Jack of All Games TV. I just verified it is legit. Therefore, we have hit the tips goal for today. And that means, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have a poll to determine what vest I'll be wearing for roughly the next half hour as I go back to Champions Road. Okay? Cool. So let's do it. Let's do the poll. Damn, 358,000 Penne points were handed out for that, that prediction. Yikes, that's a lot. Apologies to those who lost them. So, beige, blue, platinum, red, and camo are all available because incredibly unlikely, but it happened. Last night, I wore the gray vest. It's one of the rare times I've ever won the gray vest and anyone's voted for it. I was happy because I like the gray vest. It's the co most comfortable one of all of them. Um, so it was nice to actually wear it for a stream. Okay, so those are the five vests that are available for today's stream. Please vote. All right, there's there's literally nothing left to do in the game but Champions Road. Like, that's it. So that means there's a total of 380 stars in the game because there's three here on Champions Road, and that's it. Now, what I'm curious is, the two stars we've already encountered on Champions Road were right along the way easily obtainable. The third one? Whew. I don't know if it's gonna, I hope it's not gonna be like hidden or something. I hope since it, the, 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 the stage is so challenging in itself that I hope that it'll just be along the way normally easy to grab. Okay, I hope. So I guess we're gonna find out. Let's start it up. And uh, let's start it up. Let's see what I can do here. I already screwed up. I already forgot to do a long jump. Jesus. Jesus! Please keep voting on the vest. I'll put on the vest shortly. Once the, the poll is complete. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> 
Hui! Platinum vest is one, so I'll get the platinum vest. So people are also asking, can we do predictions for the stage? I mean, we can. I've only got about half an hour left on the stream. I really doubt I'm going to beat this because there's still a chunk I haven't seen yet, you know. So the good news is I saved the, the Tuesday night stream. I left it open, and it looks like we're going to need it for this, you know. It looks like we are going to need it. All right, so Jack of All Games TV just did a hundred bit cheers. I've been watching you since the James Bond 007 Bloodstone playthrough in 2001. So, well, not in 2001. I guess that's when the game came out. Maybe it was uh, remade. I thought I'd help you reach your tips goal for the vest. Thank you very much, Jack of All Games. Much appreciated uh, that we hit the tips goal for today. Like I said, I really needed the help this weekend. Every day I needed to hit the tips goal to pay it forward everything. So thank you for that. Really appreciate that. Okay, what do you guys want to do? We could do a we could do a wager here. How about, how about this? It's very simple. Let's do this wager. And it's going to be the most simple one possible. Ready? Will Phil be Champions Road today? Yes or no? I have a half an hour. I have a half an hour to try to beat it. Okay? It's the simplest wager possible. Obviously, most people are probably going to say no. But if anyone says yes and I happen to beat it today, my God, did you hit the jackpot? Now, here's the thing. If we don't finish it in the next half hour, that's fine. I'll just play it again on Tuesday night. And hopefully within two hours of Tuesday night stream, we can beat it. All right? Total score and just cheers. Would you like to do a series on Amazon Prime with U-Wings LTG? I'm just going to ignore the rest of it. Just ignoring the rest of what you said there. There we go. Oh my god, I almost died. That was close. And I fucked up. Oh, I wanted to go over it and land on the platform. Sucks I had a good start there. I had a good start and then I fucked it up right in the middle. Oh, this fucking champion's road. Oh my god, I never did that before. Oh, come on! Uh, fuck. Waha! Waha! I like how they can run on that easily, but you fall right through. <laughs> Shit. 
Roosh cheered. He said, why do people associate you with Wings so often? I have no idea. If you watch us, we couldn't be diff more different people. Like, we play different games. We talk differently. We act differently. You know? I, I don't know. It's just I, You know what it is? Because people want to associate dra people who drama, right? So, by the way, who makes the drama on my streams? Not me. I don't know about, you know, Wings or LTG making the drama on their streams. I tell you guys, I don't want drama on my streams. I just want to fucking play games and have fun. That's all I'm here for. I'm not here to make a paycheck. I'm not here to cause drama. I just want to have fun with games and chill with you guys. That's why I started doing it 12 years ago. And why I still do it today, you know? But these people want to just associate anyone with drama or a big hater base is the same. No, that's not true at all, actually. We're completely different. Couldn't even, I don't know how you could even associate us together. You know? We're so different. Oh my god, no big jump. Great. Ugh. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa! Don't know why I did that. I started taking off like a bullet. I didn't want that. Steven Seagull cheered. He says, when you do an online friends lobby, if you got a separate PSN account just for playing with other people, so the tractors won't fuck up your private one. There's no way that that could happen. When I play online, you get to, you have to see the account. Like, there's no way that I could play online and it wouldn't leak and people wouldn't know what it is. It's just the name gets displayed. You know what I mean? Like, it's not even it's not possible. It would be like a ton of work. And the moment that I tried to do that, these fucking weirdos would immediately try to figure out what it is to try to play. Oh, look what we, we ruined it for Phil. Oh, we trolled him. Oh, so it's not worth it. Hannah is stupid. Did 100 bit cheers? Did we get your opinion on Girl Scout cookies? Uh, they're pretty good, actually. They're pretty good. It depends on the, the, the one. Like, if I remember correctly, the one that I always liked the best was the Thin Mints. Although, I think they, if you have some other, like, I think other people like Samoas. And, drop my long jump. A lot of people like Samoas. Um. And a lot of people like some of the other ones. Like, the, there's one with peanut butter, I think. Is there one with peanut butter with chocolate? That one I remember having and really liking. But Thin Mints have always been my favorite Girl Scout cookies. Okay, this is the weirdest thing. I just discovered something. When you land from any jump, if you hold a direction, you keep full momentum. If you release the thumbstick entirely, you stick the jump. It's the weirdest thing. Look at that. So watch this. I jump and hold, and he slides. You saw that, right? Jump and hold. Slide. But if I jump and release, he sticks the jump completely. Weird. That's so weird. Well, I got hit. That is so weird to me. Tagalongs? Are the Tagalongs the one that have peanut butter? Those are crazy good. Everyone's got the peanut butter in them, I love. And I like the Thin Man. Those are the two that I like the most. Oh my god, get in there! Yikes! He won't go in! <laughs> he refused! He absolutely refused to get in the box. I got to the third part. Fucking shit. Took forever. Ah, <sighs> oh, hold on. Uh, okay, I got an anonymous $1.30 tip. And this person is saying they were trying to test stream elements for the first time. They also sent me a long message that looks like something private that I should keep to myself. 
Thank you for that. I don't know who this is. Thank you for the, the anonymous dollar thirty tip. All right, great. Wow, I almost died right there. Oh! Nice. Oh, this is a tough one. That fucked up. Okay. I gotta try to bounce to the right. Oh, no! That didn't work for some odd reason. There we go. Okay, now this is the last part that I've done. Here we go. Get ready. The hardest part is to the pipe afterward, but I can't blow it. Oh, it's easy up to then. So I don't want to get too far past the water. Oh my god! Oh my god! It's a bunch of dash pads. You have to run. Are you kidding me? It's a bunch of dash pads. And you have to jump over all those lasers while running past the fucking dash pads. Oh my god! This is nuts. Okay, I got the star, but then you have to get five key coins, and then you can advance. I wonder if that's the end. I actually wonder if that's the end of it right there. You get that, and then maybe after you get the key coins, you get the stamp, and you beat the stage. Okay. It's actually not that bad. I thought it was going to be way worse getting to the star. It actually wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be getting to the star. What the f- that's bullshit. I landed right on it. I was past the spike. Yeah, see what I mean about some of the physics and the, especially the camera work in this game? That's bullshit. I was definitely past the spike. 100% past it and it claimed that I touched it and died. That's bullshit. Penne Bandit Chase said, this is why I told you to bring the Tanuki suit. Because he's talking about the final, the final area with the lasers. Yeah, I can definitely see the Tanuki suit helping you to hover over the lasers in that part for sure. Or Peach, if you're Peach. Hover right over the fucking lasers, right? Yeah. That's so dumb. The beetle kills me. I landed on his back, not on the spike. And it says, you touched the spike. Okay, dude. Whatever you say...
wow. <laughs> For some reason, I lost all momentum on my jump and didn't get moved forward enough to wall jump. I don't know why I lost momentum. Ugh. Son of a bitch. I lost momentum on my jump again. Internal miscreant just cheers a random question. Is the most common tip message you get is, Hey, Phil, I've been watching you since blank, blank, blank. Keep up the great work. I don't know. I mean, a lot of people say that, but I don't know if there is like a common tip message. Everyone just seems to do their own thing and has like an individualized message, which is nice. I like getting an individualized message per person than something just generic. Oh, how I, I support you. Here you go. No, I'd rather hear everyone say, oh, I'm playing this game. I really enjoy this playthrough you're doing. Here's what I'm up to. Or a question. You know, I like that way more than just the more generic message that people would send. Although I appreciate the generic message too. I mean, they're all nice. Okay. Oh, yeah. Again, dude, why can't I do this now? You see what? I play it too long, and when I play it too long, I just, I can't even do the earlier parts. This is so dumb. I can't even do, I can't do the fucking stupid stare that I've done now probably about 50, 60 times. I can't do it now. Ugh. Got the momentum. Stop my momentum. Boy. Whoa, I don't know what happened there. What again? Dude, that's messed up. I'm on top of them. I'm blatantly on top of them, and the game claims like there's a spike going up when there's not. So that's fucked up. Yeah, that's that they screwed that up. They screwed that up. The physics of that is not correct. There's a spike going this way, not up. Why when I land on their butt is it a hitbox that kills me? That doesn't make any fucking sense. <clears throat> None. All right, this likely is going to be my last continue. There's only 15 minutes left on the stream. After this is probably the end of the stream, so <clears throat> Oh, come on now. Uh. What the fuck? What was that? Oh, 
Someone said use Toad. I bet Toad would be good for the very last part with the lasers. But would make the platforming parts way harder, I bet. But the run speed for the lasers might be a huge asset. Be able to outrun the lasers. But definitely Peach is the best. You hover right over those fucking lasers. Oh my god, really? stage. They knew what they were doing making this one. They certainly did. Balls to the wall challenge. What the f- I was still inside of the water and the- it, that, Wow. I was still inside of the water and it acted like I wasn't and it made me fall. That's ridiculous. So that means the water, actual hitbox of the water versus the animation of the water doesn't line up. What the hell? That's terrible. That's freaking bad, man. Well, that was a save. I seriously can't believe that. That it fucking... I was still in the water. It showed the blue. I was in the blue area, and the game acted like I wasn't, and it pulled me out. Wow. That's bad. <laughs> wow, I couldn't jump. For some reason, I was very sluggish. The jump wouldn't come out right. What the? I didn't do that. I was holding straight up. He went up to the right. My, likely, you want to know why? Because the camera was scrolling. I told you, for some reason, when the camera moves, the actual movement of the camera changes the momentum of your movement in the air, which should never happen in a platforming game, but it seems to happen in this one. My god, that was close.
Oh boy. <laughs> what? I passed through it. This shit seriously makes no sense. I passed through the beetle. Try. Try again. Wow, I couldn't make it to the right again. Come on. There. Kate has gifted this up to Bernie Lomax. Congratulations, Bernie Lomax. Thank you, Kate, for the channel support. Okay. Oh. Now, I'm not gonna go to the edge. Fuck that. If the hitbox is fucked up, if the edge is gonna suck you out, that's stupid. I'm staying away from the edge. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> so this time I'm like, oh, I'm not gonna go to the edge because I'm afraid the hitbox is gonna screw me over, but then you don't have time to go up. Oh my god. Let's just randomly do a Super Mario 64 jump out of nowhere because I got hit by a cannonball. What? Why would you even fucking do that? Stupid game. Likely this is my final attempt, everybody. Oh shit. Great. Just great. Ugh, not good. Wow! I couldn't land. You saw what happened? When I land, it was ambiguous. You couldn't even tell where he was. <laughs> Fucking stupid. Well, it looks like we're doing this again. I, it looks like we're doing this again on Tuesday night. Um, The good news is, I got very close to the end. I get the feeling I got that third star. So I get the feeling if I hit those key coins, probably takes you to the last area where the stamp is. Maybe one last challenge. So I'm close. Couldn't do it today. I really tried. I really, really tried. But it is what it is. <laughs> Alright, it is what it is. Next time around on Tuesday night, hopefully this will be the conclusion of Super Mario 3D World. The final challenge. Okay? Uh, oh my god, excuse me. Okay. Well, in the Snap City, just curious which game is more rage inducing, this or Ghosts and Goblins? Definitely Ghosts and Goblins. Like, up until this point, the game hasn't been that challenging. Yes, some of the stages to get the optional stars adds challenge, but in general, the game hasn't been that challenging. It's not until this world, honestly. I'd say, of course, this too. The 30 star challenge was tough, but this world is by far the, the toughest thing in the game. It's one of the toughest things I've ever done in Mario. For what I'm going to understand, Super Mario Brothers The Lost Levels, which I may play soon, depending on what happens with our sub-goal this month, um, apparently is much tougher than any of this stuff. Like, the Lost Levels was meant to be, like, a, a ultra-level challenge run for those who liked the original Mario, but they felt that it was too difficult for Western audiences, so they changed the game, and Super Mario 2 in America and the UK ended up being a completely different game. So, anyway, I'm like, I do like this final stage. I actually like this final stage, 
and I'm going to continue to try to finish it and hopefully tackle it and beat it uh, when I do this on Tuesday night, and that'll be the finale of the playthrough. If we have extra time, we'll try out that optional Luigi mode that apparently unlocked. Well, let's save up. Thank you guys for your support today, as usual. Thank you for chilling with me and hanging out with me and having a good time, I hope. And I hope that to see you all when I try to finish this in a few days. All right, guys? Thanks very much for everything. Until next time.